In the seas that surround South Korea, the ocean floor looks lifeless. The bedrock is barren without sea plants or fish. Scientists call it ocean desertification, where areas are depleted of marine life because of a changed and hostile environment. And in South Korea, ocean desertification is spreading. Bedrocks and sea forests are just like oases and trees in a real desert. But just as there's nothing in deserts, the same thing is happening in the vast oceans. Professor Liu and other experts say climate change and pollution are some of the main reasons behind ocean desertification. The process destroys sea forests of algae, such as seaweed and kelp, which are vital to ecosystems. Ha Sung Jun spent half his life growing seaweed to support his family. For him, the consequences are severe. The ocean is my second hometown, but because of the rising temperatures, I am facing losses. The amount of seaweed I can grow is dropping, and the tips of the seaweed is slowly melting away. But the problem doesn't just stop with marine plants. These sea forests are home to many other organisms, including fish, which has resulted in a drastic drop in catches in recent years. And it has far-reaching implications for the future of our planet. We're off the southwest coast of Korea, a country almost entirely surrounded by water. So much here depends on the ocean, such as commerce, from fishing to businesses like Mr. Ha's. But in this region alone, it's estimated that more than 30 percent has been desertified, wiping out ecosystems, habitats that are integral to the earth, providing us with the foods we eat and the oxygen we breathe. Despite these consequences, South Korea remains one of the largest consumers of coal among advanced economies. In addition, trawl nets are still used to try to increase the fish catch count. This has led to overfishing and is another cause for ocean desertification. The South Korean government is trying to stop the destruction of its oceans by planting new forests through various methods. But these attempts provide no long-term solution to how the chemistry within the ocean is changing. Joseph Kim, TRT World, Changsan Island, South Korea.